Hi, in this video I'd like to show you just how to uh, change your color space uh, so that colors are represented correctly on the internet. So uh, people with older browsers might not see the larger color spaces such as uh, Adobe RGB or Profoto. So all the colors might be all mixed up. Uh, the sort of web standard is sRGB. So when we create our master files, we might create them in a larger color space, but it's a necessary step that we actually downsize that color space to sRGB so that the colors are displayed correctly. Now, uh, newer browsers or web browsers will support these larger color spaces, but you'll find that the majority of web users um, actually have older browsers. So this is definitely an important step to take. I just want to show you how to do that in Photoshop and also in um, Lightroom. So I don't actually use Lightroom, but uh, I know a lot of you out there do. So um, when we shoot in RAW, the color space isn't actually assigned at that stage. So when we open the RAW file in Adobe Camera Raw, for example, this is where we actually say, this is the color space I want to assign to my image. So in my workflow options, I, I choose to uh, process all my images in Adobe RGB. Once you're happy with that, you just uh, open the image into Photoshop and do your normal adjustments as you would with any other image. So once you're, you're finished with your image and uh, you've maybe saved your master file as a PSD or TIFF, you might want to also create a web version. So to do that, you would first, uh, you might resize it, but the crucial step to get your colors correct in all web browsers is to also convert uh, the profile to sRGB. So um, in our menu, edit, convert to profile. We can see our profile currently is Adobe RGB and then we actually want to change uh, the destination to sRGB so uh, I click OK. I'm going to leave all the rest of the settings as is and now we can actually, if we come back into the same menu option we can see that our source space is now sRGB. So now when I save that as a JPEG I will know those colors will be correct on the internet. So. Um, now if I'll show you how to do that in Lightroom. It's a very similar process. Um, we come to export our image, so click export, and then in our settings we want to come down to file settings. Just make sure color space is uh, sRGB. Again, our master file might be Adobe RGB or Profoto, but when we save it for the web, we need to make sure we convert it. So basically you're saving a copy. You don't need to save your master file again, but here we're exporting specifically for the web. So uh, image format would be JPEG, color space, sRGB. I find that a quality of 80 is sufficient without any uh, noticeable difference. And then obviously you want to resize it. So uh, less than a thousand pixels for the internet uh, and a resolution of 72. So that's how you convert your color space and uh, something worth doing. I uh, hope you learned something, thanks.